ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರೀ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಶೀರೊನೃತು ಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗಡ ಮುಡಯಾನ್ ಪಾರೊನ್ರಚೊನ್ನ ಪಳಮೊಳ್ಳು ಊರೊನ್ರು ತಾನೇ ಅಮಯಾದೋ ತಾರಣಿಯಲ್ ವಾಳ್ವಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಳವಂ ವಾಳ್ವ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಜಿಗೇಸರಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜಯ ಪಾತ್ರಂ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಗಡನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಮಂದೇ talking about the uh, note number 1 here tanule tiraitthalum taranga ven tadangadal tanule tiraitthalum tadangindra tandru tadangindra tanmai pol ninnule perandirandu nirpavum tiripavum ninnule adangindra neer nalagu neer mai nin kan nindrade so tiruchandavartham number 10 the embermane the word uh, is not available just uh, uh, added uh, amazing alliteration okay <laughs> hey the first uh, um, the first two halves have got tannule tiraitthalum the second half have got ninnule three letters three syllables mm-hmm. so alvars outpourings are uh, the outcome of the blessings of the lord he only sent them here therefore it's all, it's all you can say self appraisal it's not self appraisal self appreciation uh, sent by the lord to this earth in the form of the 12 apostles mm-hmm. so embermane so uh, the alvar is addressing ಅಲೆಹಳ್ ವೀಶಪ್ಪೆರಾದು ಓಯ್ದಿರಕ್ಕೂ ಕಡಲ್ ಕಾಟ್ಟಿನಾರ್ ಸೊ ಅಲೆಹಳ್ ವೀಶಪ್ಪೆರಾದು ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಟರ್ಬುಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಫೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಮಿಲ್ಕಿ ಓಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಸೀ ಬ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಲೆಹಳ್ ವೀಶಪ್ಪೆರಾದು in the sense it was uh, new moon day amavasya so oindirkum kadal kalchinal so peralegal visha petru no again uh, bigger waves may come out come up from the water of the ocean so peralegal visha petru meaning more troubles will be there in the leela vibhuti so kaat nindradum uh again after the waves subside rather wind subsides 
the waves also subside. So, Alayindri Adangi Vudu Now, this is in comparison with, uh, parallel with uh, uh, the dissolution and the creation. The dissolution is uh, what you call Alayindri. So, there are no waves. Tavara Jangama Purushal Elam. Alvar points out these two um, ideas with the Nirpavam Tiribavam. Nirpavam, still objects, insentient objects, Achetanam. Tiribavam, which move away, I mean, which move every moment. So Tiribavam is sentient beings, living beings which move. So movables and immovables. So Nirpavam Tiribavam. Ninnule Perandu. From the Lord's belly, we say, they come out as creation. Uh, at the same time, irand, so they also get back into the belly. Ninnule adangi hindra, unnidame lait, they go back to their original place. And adangi hindra, they become calm, tranquil, still, inert and so on. So, this is to praise aloft uh, to the sky, namely name the Lord. Uh, we especially refer to the Vatapatra Shai, Alilai Mel, Olu Balaganai. Within a small stomach of the tiny stomach of the baby, uh, every creation. Uh, comes out from from the belly, it, every creation comes out and uh, to the belly uh, all go back. That is why we say that in the entire world is his form. The whole uh, creation, uh, say 14 worlds, are contained in, in a small uh, stomach, meaning the world itself is his form. And therefore, so this is about, again, the adoring the Lord. And uh, the point is here, uh, we must remember how uh, the creation and dissolution are from the same place. Or from and to the, of the same place. Then Moonram Thiruvandadi, Poihe Bhutam Pei, so, Bhutam, Bhutam Sarascha Mahadakya. So, it should be Pudat Arvar, Pei Arvar, Poihe Arvar. So, Thiruk Kandain, Ponmeni Kandain, Tiharam Arukkan, Aniniramum Kandain, Sherukkalaram, Ponnari Kandain, Puri Shangam Kai Kandain, Ennari Vandan Pal Indri. The third Arvar from the what you call Dehali. Regi, as we say, Varanda, uh, has seen first the goddess of fortune, Periya Pirati Sevite. Periya Pirati, when we refer to Periya Pirati, it is all, all only for Ranganaika of Sri Rangam. Nobody else in any temple, no goddess in any other temple is uh, named as Periya Pirati, the great goddess. So, Thiruk Kandain, I saw her, and then Ponmeni Kandain, and I saw your divine figure. Arahiya Thirumeni Sevite. Ponmeni, whenever we want to uh, describe anything valuable, we add the word gold. Uh, so, golden hue. Already we saw that Kiranmaya uh, Vapuhu, Lord is always full of uh, the color of the gold. Uh, he is gold colored, meaning highly valuable, highly respectable. So, Ponmeni Kandain. So, I saw your divine figure. So, the fourth person was the Lord. So, the story as, as it goes in Tamil, uh, one by one, the Arvas, the three first Arvas enter into the Varanda, Dehali. And then, when the second Arvas comes there, the first Arvar says, Oruvar Irukkalam. 
ஒருவர் இருக்கலாம் மீன்ஸ் ஒருவர் படுக்கலாம் ஒன் கேன் ஸ்ட்ரெச் தேர் லெக்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்ஃபர்டபிளி ரிக்ளைன் ஆர் லை டவுன் செகண்ட் ஆழ்வார் கேன் இருவர் அமரலாம் ஸோ டூ பீப்புள் கேன் சிட் in this small space and the third order came it, it was uh, mover nirkala the three can only stand because there, there is a heavy rain outside they wanted to have shelter and the fourth person was the lord and who uh, hugged them in the sense uh, pressed them very hard so that they came out with uh, முதல் திருவந்தாதி இரண்டாம் திருவந்தாதி அண்ட் மூன்றாம் திருவந்தாதி ஆல்சோ ஷிப்ஸ் அதன் நிறத்தை சேவித்தேன் பொன்மேனி கண்டேன் ஐ சா யுவர் டிவைன் ஃபிகர் திகழும் அறுக்கன் அணி நிறமும் கண்டேன் ஆல்சோ என்ஜாய்டு தி பியூட்டிஃபுல் கலர் ஆஃப் த என்டயர் டிவைன் ஃபிகர் தென் ஷெருக்கிழரும் பொன்னாழி கண்டேன் Sherukkilarum in the sense, uh, they are ready to combat the enemies. Uh, the Chakrathalwar, the, the Sudarshanam is also seen bright by the Alwar. Ponnari Kande. Ponnari Kande. I told you gold is always referred to you know, for a brightest object, for the brightest object. Then Purishangam Kai Kande. say valam puri idam puri we say with regard to the uh, circumambulation of the form form formation of the uh, the shell the sea shell that she conch uh, he said uh, he worshiped panchajan tiruchangi sevithe en aali vannan paal indru en aali vannan paal indru so aali again the வலம்புரி விஏஎல் விஏஎல்ஏஎம் தட் மீன்ஸ் தக்ஷிண ரைட் ஹேண்ட் ரைட் வாட் யூ கால் கிளாக் வைஸ் டைரக்ஷன் வலம்புரி இஸ் கிளாக் வைஸ் டைரக்ஷன் இடம்புரி இஸ் ஆன்டி கிளாக் வைஸ் டைரக்ஷன் லெஃப்ட் லெஃப்ட் ஆன்வர்ட்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் வேர்ட்ஸ் வெதர் இஸ் ரைட் வேர்ட்ஸ் ரைட் வேர்ட் கான்சி யூஸ்ட் இன் அவர் ஆராதனை திருவாராதனை ஸோ என்னாழி வண்ணன் பால் என்று ஸோ ஆழி வண்ணன் எகைன் ஆழி ஆழி மீன்ஸ் எகைன் ஓஷன் ஸோ வி சா த கலர் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் இஸ் ஓஷன் ஆஃப் ஓஷன் வாட்டர் ஸோ ஆழி வண்ணன் ஆழி வண்ணன் எகைன் த ஆடு வேர்ட் ஆழி கேன் ஆல்சோ மீன் தி சக்கரம் சக்கரம் இன் தென் சுதர்சனம் சுதர்சனம் த வேர்ட் சுதர்சனம் மீனிங் Um, highly pleasant to look at. Highly pleasant to look at is called Su Darshanam. Darshanam is a feast to the eyes. Therefore, Yannari Vandan Paal Indra, uh, he was like the color of the ocean water. So blue, blue. We saw that blue color. Neela Megha Shyamala Varnaha. And the clouds also reflect their color on the water. the the water also adds color to the clouds the water came from the cloud and then it became the ocean mm-hmm. so we have the next one 57 so paragraph 17 mm-hmm. the 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 color or the beauty or the handsomeness of the lord is only self made so no external agency gives him the beauty, color and so on, the brightness and so on. So, it is Swayam Prakashata Yalum. It is self-effulgent. Uh, nobody can need to give light to the Lord. And uh, while we compare the Lord's uh, brightness, Vedam, Vedam says, Scripture says, Veda says, நூரியோ 
uh, if you place the sun near the Lord, then it looks like a very small, uh, tiny lamp flame. If you take even 100 crores of suns and place them near the Lord, they are uh, lesser in brightness than the Lord himself. Uh, the sun cannot shine there where Lord is present. Of course, Lord is present everywhere and therefore uh, Suryaha na tatra bhati. The sun doesn't shine there. It's also na chandra maha. When even the sun cannot uh, be brighter than the Lord, then how can the moon be brighter than the Lord? But moon has got cool light. Uh, so also the Lord has got cool light. As bright as the sun, or man brighter than the sun and cooler than the uh, moon. That's right. So what is it? So uh, how is the Lord again, the divine figure? Jnana guna ashraya mahayana. So wisdom is God. Uh, it is a repository of uh, knowledge. It's a substratum of wisdom. So, jnana guna ashraya. Jnana is the, one of the qualities. So wisdom is a quality, auspicious quality. And uh, Lord is the source, ashraya. Ashraya means, as well as uh, already we saw, the shelter for the quality. The quality remains there permanently uh, without any other source uh, uh, to help. Uh, it is a substratum. It's a basis. It's a fundamental place for the wisdom. Jnana, guna, ashraya, vahyana. Now, therefore, we say knowledge is God. Jnana means pair with. Satyam, jnanam, anantam, brahma is the Upanishad Vakyam. So he is the truth, he is the wisdom, he is endless. And that is Almighty. Satyam, jnanam, anantam, brahma. Therefore, the Lord is called knowledge. Jnana means pair with. Irandu vadiyalam tanakkittan thondru madai. Now, so, Irandu vadiyalam, we have to look at the notes for B, then only understand Irandu vadiyalam. B is jnanatthin udavi indriyam, jnanatthin udavi alam. That's the meaning. Jnanam is an abstract concept. Uh, we cannot measure it by uh, what we call tangible figure. Jnanam, knowledge itself is what we call what we have in our mind, what we understand, what we learn, what we study is uh, invisible. It's an abstract concept. And therefore, so if you take it as an entity, even then, Lord has no necessity for taking the help of the entity, namely knowledge. Rendu padiyalu, meaning he has no uh, need to depend upon something called knowledge. Knowledge is not separate from him. Wisdom is not uh, different from him. And therefore, uh, he possesses knowledge and the knowledge is uh, uh, of its own accord present there. No need of seeking the uh, knowledge there. He is not a seeker of knowledge, just like us. We are all seekers of knowledge. We go to uh, understand. We try to study and so on. So, Tanakritan Tondru Madai. So, he is self manifest as knowledge. Tanakritan Tondru Madai. Swayam Vyaktaha. We saw the Swayam Vyakta Kshetram in the Achavatara. Then Anukula Swabhavamai. He is favorable. His na original nature is favorability. Why? It is, uh, he is favorable as uh, Rajagopala Swami identified in the session, in the last session, that uh, he works for us. He blesses us. He is favorable to us. So living beings, especially living beings, also non-living beings also. So Anukula Swabhavamai. He is always congenial to the creation. 
then again he whether he is visible or not so he is not visible ati sukshmama he is completely invisible so he hides himself so ati sukshmama he is not able to he is not available to the vision of the naked eye especially what we call uh, the eye of the individual souls of this world namely our our eye vision then tilatil tailam polam this is what uh, amanujacharya said in his shiranga gadya tilatailavat in sesame seed or the gingili seed you you have oil the sesame oil gingili oil but the oil is not seen outside only when we crush it we get the oil so we have to crush the god god also here by prayers so compel him to bless us by prayers so unless we crush him or he will have a crush in the sense he will have what we call uh, chemistry same chemistry with us so when we show our affection towards him so he will have his chemistry so to say it very practically thousand bulbs will glow while we understand him and also he is happy that uh, again the same expression can be used uh, bulbs will glow so that he is also uh, uh, returning the affection uh, which we show to him so tilatil dailam tailam pola darvil agni pola we also saw the same example second example the daru vanni vat only one word was different daru means wood log of wood katte so an insentient object uh, at least uh, you can say if you sow the seed of gingili it will grow it has got life we say plant has got life the seed has life whereas daru uh, the log of wood has no life lifeless object and uh, inside the daru inside the uh, log of wood uh, a pole we say wooden pole agni is there fire is there agni pole only uh, if agni is not there if fire is not there how do you say that there is fire inside uh, when the fire is lit and the wood is thrown into the fire it gets caught very easily and therefore we understand that there is a fire in our in the wood also in our living i mean individual soul we have got uh, the fire in the belly called the jatharagni jatharam means uh, belly so in order to digest the food that we take we have the fire inside the belly fire then uh, so he what does he do sarva achetanangalilum anupraveshikavatra uh, the word um in tamil meaning added so cha is in sanskrit so he anupravishya cha so we say the uh, scriptural word anupravishya cha so he creates the living beings and non living beings and then enters into them. so he says bahusyam prajayeya i shall be born in different forms bahusyam prajaya prajayeya i will be born as many things i will become uh, varied i become a multi uh, objects and then uh, nama nama karavani we have the uh, scriptural sentence nama karavani so every object is named the log of wood is called the daru our uh, i mean uh, the the seed of the uh, gingili is called uh, tilam so each has got a name uh, then uh, anupraveshika we try 
So though he enters into all the living beings and non-living beings. So achetanangalilum, meaning chetanangalilum, that means he enters into the living beings also, sentient beings also, knowledgeable beings also, and also enters into the non-sentient beings. <laughs> then nirvikaraman, though he enters into that and become one with the uh, with all the objects of creation, he doesn't mix with them. So he doesn't change his form. Nirvikarama. Nirvikarama meaning he has no change in his form. He is in all forms, pararupam, vyuharupam, vibhavarupam, antaryami rupam and acharupam in all the objects, uh, namely living beings and non-living beings. Then gunatraya rahitama. We can only say gunatraya rahitama. Uh, he is always possessed of, uh, uh, rather he consists of sattva quality, the good quality. But uh, gunatraya rahitama meaning there is no mix-up of three qualities. That's all. Rajas and tamas do not mark the content of the Lord. That's the meaning. Uh, gunatraya rahitama. Rahitam is without traya three, guna is quality. We are talking about the sattva, rajas and tamas. So rajas is uh, the, what we call the dust, the dirty uh, quality, in the sense that uh, the, some of the bad qualities that uh, living beings possess are, are uh, in the category of uh, rajas, namely insolence, pride, lobha, moha, confusion, uh, greed, uh, then... Uh, Jealousy, envy, matsaryam, mother, the egoism and the self, sense of self-possession, uh, karma, the uncouth desire, the wrong desire, and uh, krodha, the fury. So these are all called uh, rajas qualities. So when one, uh, even a living being is still inert, I-N-E-R-T, movementless, then we call it uh, tamas, darkness of ignorance. Darkness of ignorance is called tamas. These two categories do not get attached to the Lord. Therefore, there is no mixture of these three qualities. Only one quality is there and sattva. And again, that is called shuddha sattva, pure quality. There is nothing called impure good quality. Ashuddha sattva is not there. So the opposite is not there. Again, uh, Aprakrita Shuddha Sattva, we say, supernatural, pure, good quality. There is no further purity for that quality, that's all. So nothing is com comparable to that quality. Then, uh, what do we do? So, we use the five organs, sense organs. So, Ayin Kari So, what do we do? With the eyes, we see, Kandu. Ketu with the ears we hear, Uttru, uh, we, that means we in, indulge, uh, then uh, deeply concentrate. So, Mondu, use the nose for smelling, Undu, the mouth for eating, then Uralum, we rather squander, that's the meaning, S Q U A N D E R. Uralum. That means we are not able to come out of this uh, influence of these five organs. We are always attracted by uh, these five organs, especially in the wrong paths. Therefore, we see what we should not see. We hear what we should not hear. We smell what we should not smell. We should not eat what we eat, we ought to, we should not eat it. We always Tamil Nasana Urap Pariyan in Salva, Urap Pariyan. Sitting tight on a spot without moving out. That means we are not ready to come out of this Maya, M Y R, M I R E, of the what you call mundane existence of. Human life. 
we are not ready to, we are not able to come out we are not ready to come out we are not able to control the sense organs and so on uh, and uh, whereas these five sense organs have no business with the lot so vishayam and rikhi and these five organs cannot uh, uh, experience the lot they have limited capacity and therefore we cannot see god in reality with our eyes so how do we then see so we see with our 11th sergon sense organ mind so he is not the target of he is not the goal lord is not the goal aim of these five organs and nishkrishta veshatil we saw the earlier the word nishkrishta so nishkrishta in the best uh, attire vesham vesham is not a, what we call a drama attire yeah a, a dress meant for play uh, but we say uh, he has, he is playing so leela vibhuti and therefore he has a drama attire also but it is the best uh, uh sartorial fashion nishkrishta veshatil nishkrishta mini there is nothing uh, better than that there is no more the best and this is not any time inferior so nishkrishta veshatil now he has no category is called deva and manushya so devatva manushyatva aadi bhedangal illami aadi he doesn't belong to either the god as we understand from heaven he doesn't belong to the human category called the manushyatva so we have of course there are two important incarnations rama and krishna so krishna showed his devatvam in the sense it is better than the devatvam he is uh, whereas when you say devatvam it is limited in skills capacity power strength and so on whereas uh, lord was um, better than the gods he is deva 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 devatva and also as rama avatara he showed that he is he looked like a human being but uh, he was beyond human being he had more capacity than a human being so manushyatva adi bhedang lilam yale there is no difference within him as god and or human, human being devan then illami ale deva manushya di shabda gochara mandrike you cannot even call him god god in the sense in the limited sense as one one of the members of the heaven so he is not just a member of the heaven swarga so we call it uh, we call the word deva many words there are 11 words for deva in sanskrit nirjharaha amaraha tridashaha and so on. suraha so all these words do not denote the not lord shrimanarayana so manushya again you cannot call him as a human being uh, shabda gochara he is not accessible to such a term such a name so andrike sarva atma sadharanangalale so generally when we when we used that the word aham in the earlier paragraph we saw that aham can be used for both the jivatma and the paramatma the individual soul and the supreme soul and therefore sarva atma sadharanangalale sadharanangal meaning common general the name is general atma meaning general it's a general name general term it can mean paramatma and it can mean jivatma according to the context and situation so if you say all atmas all atmas because we understood that uh, lord became manifold he became many and again he entered into all the uh living i mean uh, achetana objects and also achetana objects also and therefore we understand that the word aham can point out to uh, any of the individual soul uh, created and 
he himself namely as the paramatma whereas aham buddhi shabdangalale so when i when i say aham i mean i mean i the i sense that is the, what i mean to say what is where what is aham so i point out to the jivatma it, uh, within the physical body and the physical body containing the inner soul uh, the paramatma and therefore i am proud to say that i am aham aham i the i sense comes to us because of the, the presence of the ever lasting presence of the uh, i mean supreme soul in our individual soul otherwise we cannot say aham so we have we are proud to say that aham uh, when whenever you see uh, you, you have to use the word aham whenever uh, uh, you refer to yourself that doesn't mean that you are equal to god nor you are better than god and again uh, that aham where when you say that aham you refer to paramatma so paramatma is always superior to the jivatma and uh, so our aham our aham is called our tattva our word i is called our tattva lower in status lower in quality whereas that is para tattva uh, you can you can also say apara tattva sanskrit word para tattva and apara tattva mean the same they are not opposites para tattva meaning the highest principle apara tattva means there is no other highest principle தந்தாமுக்கு அகம் புத்தி சந்தங்களாலே தந்தாமுக்கு மீனிங் தந்தாமுக்கு மீன் டு ரெஃபர் டு ஹிம் த லார்ட் அனுபாவியமாக இருக்கும் இட் வில் பி இட் வில் பி ஃபேவரபுள் அனுபாவியமாக இருக்கும் மீனிங் லார்ட் அலவ்ஸ் டு கால் அவர் செல்ஸ் ஐ அண்ட் லார்ட் ஈஸ் ஆல்சோ கால் ஐ uh it, it is said in uh, the scriptures aham brahmasmi we say it three times in the day three times in the day every day we say three times asavadityo brahma brahmaivaham asmi we go around ourselves atma pradakshinam after uh, offering the argya the libation of water that by saying gayatri mantra so after that we go around ourselves atma pradakshinam when you do when you say and then say so asavadityo brahma because we offer the agyam libation of water to the sun god sun god in the sense again surya mandala madhyavarti remember that we offer to only lord shiva narayana the libation of water argyam and then the offering of water <coughs> so because we are straight away looking at the sun god and doing it and therefore so asau aditya ha brahma this this sun asau this aditya ha sun s u n brahma the almighty so we are able to see the almighty straight away with our naked eyes here. but that that we do not see the complete form of the law therefore uh, we we cannot say that we have saw, seen god that's a meaning so uh, the next sentence we say is brahmaivaham asmi brahma not brahma brahma means creator brahma eva aham asmi i am the lord so how do you get this uh, uh, word how do you how do you say this expression how do you get that feeling that means uh, because of his uh, blessings because of his power transferred to us we have got some freedom we have got limited freedom the freedom is there and therefore we have we can call ourselves i so non gendra artham dane parabuddhi vishayam ambodu avan ivan uvan endru nee endru thoru only when we say we refer to ourselves as i then the meaning that we get 
by the word I when we refer to ourselves, then only we can understand the difference between I and the big I, namely the Lord, Supreme Soul. Why? Parabuddhi Vishemam Bodhu. Parabuddhi. Parabuddhi meaning Paramabuddhi. Para meaning here higher Lord. So when you talk about thinking of the Lord, Buddhi, that means when we bestow our thought, uh, attach our mind to the Lord, Parabuddhi, then we can understand that we are inferior and He is superior. And it is referred to by Namalwar in the first uh, decade itself. Avan, Ivan, Uvan. Adu, Idu, Udu. So we differentiate between the uh, sentient beings, uh, between the sentient beings and between the Chetana and Achetana and also the Lord. So that is why we, we say there are three types of categories, three types of uh, living beings as, uh, as it is, namely Para, the Lord, the highest one, Jivatma, the individual soul, and the next one is uh, uh, inanimate object. That is why, so though referred to in the as as one, so you can understand easily as adu, idu, udu. So avan refers to Lord, the highest Almighty. Ivan refers to the jivatma. The one refers to the inanimate beings. And then all combined into one. Because all creations come out of him. So, ni and the tot. That is why we say, sat tvam asi. So, tvam here is individual soul. You, ni. So, tat is Lord Almighty. So, tat tvam asi in the sense, you are that, thou are that meaning, you are that uh, Almighty meaning. So, you are, you have, you, you belong to him. You belong to him. You are related to him. You cannot be away from him. You have to be get you have to get attached to him. At the same time, you must have, you must have blessings, his blessings. Again, this Jivatma 19. It Jivatatva Badharendrum Bandharahitarendrum Irandabadiya. So we are all what you call chained souls. We have been fettered, F-E-T-T-E-R-D. So we have been bound by the life in this world. Baddhaha, we are all chained souls. We are all bound souls. We have got uh, no, no freedom. No freedom, so no independence and so on. So we are all dependents. So we are all individual souls living all the earth. And then Bandha Rahitaha, so otherwise called Muktaha, the released to souls who have gone to Vaikuntham. Not, not, not to heaven or hell. So Bandha Rahitaha, so the, the relationship is not there in the sense that no cycle of birth and death. So it's an emancipated situation. So beatitude is available. So we have no cycle repeated in the birth and death. So, Bandha Rahitaha, uh, we have no relations with the world, that's what I mean. So, Bandha is relationship, Rahitaha without, so Bandha Rahitaha meaning without relationship to the world, created world. So, everybody here. It, uh, the Jivatma is divided into two, namely the fettered souls, chained souls and released souls. And released souls are also in turn you uh, are called by, by another term also called Nitya Surihi. Nitya Surihi. But Nitya Suri especially refers to the three, namely always they are called Nityas, namely the permanent residence of uh, Vaikuntham, namely Garuda, Vishwaksena and Adishesh. Uh, then who is the Baddha? Uh, 20. So Baddha Rava. Who are the fettered souls? 
we are all chained soul. Uh, no, we are not free in any uh, aspect. So, pala shayvine van kaitral thinnam arunda kattundu. These words are all from Arvast's statements. Shayvine. So, we have been doing a lot of actions. So, mostly bad. Uh, Shay Vinay. Vinay meaning action. Uh, Shay Vinay meaning bad action. Here. Here. Pala Shay Vinay. So, multifarious uh, bad activities we have been performing. And therefore, you know, over many butts, hundreds of butts, if not lakhs of butts. So, one kaitral. One kaitral. It's a strong rope. One meaning strong. It is not easily split. It cannot be cut easily. So one kaitral with a strong rope. So what is a strong rope? Our sins. What do you call the resultant uh, effect of the bad actions? So that that becomes the strong rope. Then tannam surely. Tannam is surely. Arunda. The pressure is on, our, on us. Um, we cannot escape from the clutches of this rope. The rope binds us tightly, tindam tightly, arunda forcibly, kattundu. We are bound. We are not able to come out of it. We are not able to escape easily. Then what do you do? Perunduyar idunbayile mari mari palaverapu perundu. So we always suffer a lot more than the clutches that we experience. It is said that we, we suffer a lot. We suffer more than we experience the happiness in this world. Perunduyar, big troubles uh, haunt us. Faces, they threaten us. So, we get into trouble and then mari mari. So, we take a lot of, uh, uh, so what do you call, yoni, the, what do you call the womb, W O M B. So, that womb that we take in, in different forms, maybe human or somebody else also. So, mari mari. Uh, Changing our forms, as Bhagavad Gita says, just just like changing the dress. Vasamsi uh, Jirnani. So we have a verse in fourth chapter Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Naroparani. The man takes uh, new dresses, wears new dresses, and discards old dresses. Vasamsi Jirnani Tatha Vihaya Navani Grinati Naroparan Tatha Sarirani Anyani Vihaya. So we have, so we give up the older frame, physical frame, and then get, get into new uh, physical bodies. So Anyani Samyati Navani Dehi, last line of the. Shloka there. So, so Palaparapam Pirandi, we are born in different uh, births. Then Mannai. So, our body, physical body, is made up of five grass elements Panchabhutakritam Shariram. Uh, the Mannai, the, the skin is uh, called. Uh, the sand part of earth part, earthen part of the grass element, mannai. Neer, liquid, neer is water. Water is in the form of blood. Eri, it is fire. Therefore, the fire is in the form of jataragni, the temperature in our body. Eri kal, then manjulavum akashumamam punnar akain variyuram. Akai meaning the sharira. The, Human body is called Akkai. So, Punna, I think they are all very uh, chaste Tamil. Uh, Akashamai, 
We have got space also either in our body. So the five elements are there. Uh, Manjulavu. Sanskrit means beautiful. <laughs> Manjula. Yeah. And you can uh, you can mean it in a, uh, what do you call Tejas. Prithvi, Apku, Tejo, Vayu, Akasha. Vayu. Manjulavu. Ulavu is air, yeah, wind. So we have got five winds. Prana, Apana, Yana, Udana, Samadhi. So, Punnar Akin, Vali Urandu. We obey the physical uh, parts of the body. Vali Urandu. So, we squander and go by the, by the way that the body directs us. Then, Nana Vida Naraham Pukham Pavan Seed. So, Srimad Bhagavata explains to you the different types of hell for different sins. So, Nana Vida, a variety, a great variety of Narakam, the hell, Pukham, so our entry. So, Pavan Seed, we commit such grave sins to get easy entry to, free entry to the hell. In different varieties. So, I was the sentence that gets uh, over only in the next page. Uh, of course, um, the all the other notes are easily available. I mean, easily understood. So, shundu ahand. It's a big sentence. Ahand uyanda mudivil parumbura pariile poinindra janamum palla varukkum arukudambu. In Ninda near me and Numbadi Tanuru Kudu to Veturu Kundu Avara, Tone Indri Alaini Kadalu Arundum Navai Port, Piravik Kadalu Nindri Tolang is another Shetana. The long definition for the Buddha, namely the fettered souls, chained souls, we. We are the chained souls. So we always drown ourselves in the squalor, S Q U A L O R. So we get into the mud, and then we don't want, we cannot come out of it. We we do not want to come out of it. So shund ahandre, we have got a big well of mud. Arndh is a deep mud. So, Uyanda Mudivil, uh, it is also so high that we are not able to come out of it, climb out of it. Mudivil, at the end, Perumpaarile. So, we go to a, a well which is uh, without water also. First, we drown ourselves in the water of the uh, life ocean. And uh, when the well becomes dry, Canary, so Parun Canary, so Perum Parile, so we get into deep into the well that we are not able to come out because we have ignorance. Poi Nindra Jnanamu. Our ignorance is very uh, rampant, very deep, and we we have got false knowledge also. So many people misguide us. And therefore, so poin indra jnanamu. We consider that uh, false statements are true. True statements are false. Then polla varukkum. Our behavior becomes uh, uh, indecent. So polla varukkum. Then aruku udambu. Our body is uh, ever dirty. Because inside and outside, we have to every time clean it. So outside meaning in the mind, inside meaning the physical parts. So whatever we eat uh, becomes a waste at the end. So, so all goes to ruin. So in Nindra near my Now, uh, so when we uh, babble in the uh, Maya, 
So when we get drowned in the mud, uh, Lord uh, shows affection. And then without the differentiation of status, near me, he shows his form. And then where to Kondu? Sometimes he doesn't come in the original form. Uh, he takes some incarnations like Vibhava. And then he comes in a different attire. And it was called disguise. Where to Kondu? Then when we struggle in the uh, in the ocean, when the very heavy wave, waving ocean, version with heavy waves, uh, we are like a boat sinking in the uh, deep sea. So Alainir Kadalud, full of waves. The ocean is full of waves. The life ocean is full of waves, meaning the troubles. Arundum Navai Pola. Arundum Navai. Navai is boat. We are only on the raft. It is drowned there. It gets immersed. Uh, we cry for the help. Avarar Tunay. Who will help us? We cry out. When we understand that the uh, Lord uh, has showed his form to us, then we start crying out. So, Avarar Tunay. Who will become my protector? Avarar Tunay. In the life ocean, Nindru, we won't come out of it. We will all stand there. And then Tolangu Hildra Chetana. We suffer. Tolangu Hildra meaning suffer. So this is what we call Chetana. This Badhaha is otherwise now called Chetanaha. So a sentient being, knowledge was there, but uh, it was earlier false knowledge. Later then, later, later the knowledge became pure. So uh, the uh, understanding was good. Uh, that was long after many births. So we go to 21 in the next session. So the, the problem continues. Uh, and why do we face this problem? 21 gives you the uh, cue. Karma Pravaha Vaishanyam. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Regularly attending.
ಪಾತ್ರಂ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತೇಶಿ ಕವಿಕಸಿಂಹಾಯ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಗುಣಶಾಲಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶಾಯ ವೇದಾಂತ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀರೊನೃತೂಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗಡಮುಡಯಾನ್ ಪಾರೊನ್ರಚ್ಚೊನ್ನ ಪಳಮೊಳ್ಳು ಊರೊನ್ರು ತಾನೇ ಅಮಯಾದೋ ತಾರಣಿಯಲ್ ವಾಳ್ವಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಳವಂ ವಾಳ್ವ ಓ 